A crane collapse is crushing a home in Akron. Thanks for clicking on the AkronNewsNow.com update. I'm Lindsay McCoy bringing you the latest local news. A tree company was cutting down a 125-foot tree when crews noticed the crane couldn't handle the weight. AkronNewsNow.com's Tina Kaufman has more. It was too late. It, the wind caught it and it blew it and there it went. A crane collapses crushing a home in the 100th block of Pershing Avenue. No one was hurt, but the homeowner is devastated after seeing the whole thing unfold before her eyes. A tree company was cutting down a 125-foot tall tree in her yard when crews noticed the crane couldn't handle the weight. They called another for backup, but not before the wind blew just right, snapping the dangling trunk and sending the massive piece of metal crashing through the home. I lived directly behind the house and everything just, there was a huge rumble and everything just started coming down and it was, all of the trees came down back there, a bunch of dust and just, it was unbelievable. Akron firefighters say it happened around 1 in the afternoon Tuesday. It was horrific, yeah, I mean you could feel the ground shaking. Rescue crews were able to save the woman's two cats. She's always been, you know, a wonderful lady and I just, I feel for her. Tina Kaufman, AkronNewsNow.com. In more local news, the Cuyahoga County Coroner's Office officially identifies the body of a woman pulled from Lake Erie Monday as the missing Our Lady of the Elms alum, Emma Nahas. The 20-year-old was first reported going missing after she took a swim on a boat about two miles from the shore on July 8th in Lake Erie. Now, family members tell News Channel 5 there's no doubt that the body found off of the Euclid Coast was that of the missing swimmer. New developments, though, as the Ohio Division of Wildcraft reports the operator of the boat. Alex Cuckoo is charged with operating while under the influence. And a 71-year-old Akron man pleads not guilty to stealing Corvettes in Ohio and Pennsylvania for chop shops. Daniel Ott Sr. was indicted last month on charges of interstate transportation of stolen property. According to the FBI reports, Ott told the agent he had stolen at least 14 Corvettes in his career. And a life sentence was handed down to a man accused of killing a mother and a son. AkronNewsNow.com's Aaron Coleman reports. Prosecutors announced that a jury recommended that Johnny Cook be sentenced to life without parole for killing Juliana and Alan Gurna inside their home. The jury found Cook guilty of four counts of aggravated murder, among other charges, for the July 2009 killings. Cook will be sentenced on August 9th. Aaron Coleman, AkronNewsNow.com. Well, lots of eager Soap Docs Derby fans welcomed the more than 500 champions to the stage outside of Canal Park earlier this week. Third-time Masters Division champion 10-year-old Abby Wester from Valparaiso, Indiana, will return to Derby Downs. It's really fun. Like, going down the hill for the first time is really exciting and kind of scary at the same time because you hope you don't, like, run into something. Then on Tuesday, racers were reunited with their cars. Today at the Derby Downs finish line, Mayor Plasquelic will host a news conference complete with the 500 kids doing trial runs down the big hill. The exciting race kicks off this Saturday. Tina Kaufman, AkronNewsNow.com. And warm weather is expected into our weekend into the 90s for the Derby races that kick off on Saturday. Today we have a high of 86 degrees, a 50% chance for thunderstorms, and Thursday a high of 87. No chance for rain, just mostly sunny skies on Thursday. On Friday, as we look at our five-day forecast, 92 degrees could be our high with a slight chance for thunderstorms. For your weekend, we're in the high 80s, 89 on Saturday with a slight chance for thunderstorms. Sunday, 85 with partly sunny skies. Continue to follow AkronNewsNow.com for the latest local news, sports, weather, and traffic updates 24-7. And you can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter, too. For AkronNewsNow.com, I'm Lindsay McCoy.